What's going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to build your own hydroponic grow tower. First you want to mark 6 inches from the blade on your chop saw because we're going to be cutting 12 lengths of 50mm pipe to this length. Once you've done that, you'll have 12 pieces that look like this. We're going to find our 135 degree branches and fix them to the bottom. We use PVC cement to fix the 6 inch pieces to the bottom of the 135 degree branch. We only need to glue the bottom pieces because when the water travels downwards because of gravity, that will be the only place that it will want to leak. Do this to all 12 of your pipe pieces and branch fittings. Now we're going to make the bottom of the tower, the S section, by using two 90 degree elbows and a little piece of 50mm pipe in between to fix them together. These will be positioned into an S shape and be attached to the bottom grow site of each tower. The nutrients will flow down from the top of the tower into the reservoir. Using a small amount of PVC cement, attach the two elbows together to make an S shape. I like to use the line on the back of the elbows to make sure you've got them centered. You'll need four elbows to make two of these S sections for the bottom of each tower. For a full shopping list, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and check the description. I use an airline to clean out any debris from cutting or any dust that is gathered. You don't have to do this, you can just use a kitchen towel or a tea towel. Using a cup of hot water or a flame, soften up your 15mm pipe and push onto the fitting that comes with your pump. Give it a firm push whilst the pipe is soft so make sure it fits in there nice and snug. Offer up your pump into your reservoir so you can cut your 15mm pipe to fit so the elbows will direct the flow of water out the middle of the reservoir. Use small bits of 15mm pipe to connect the two elbows together to direct the flow of water to the top of the system. Depending on where your grow tower is going to be sat, this will depend on how close and how far away you want it from the wall. I like to find the middle of my reservoir and cut out enough space so the elbow that's on the 15mm pipe can fit underneath the lid so the lid can close properly. Now you want to collect your grow sites and push them together to make two separate grow towers. This is six on each side. Using 50mm pipe clips we're going to mount these towers onto the wall. I'm mounting them onto wood here so I can just use a screw but if you're trying to mount them onto your wall you might have to use raw plugs. This step doesn't have to be perfect but I like to try and line mine up as well as I can. Take your 15mm pipe clips and fix them in a straight line in between the two grow towers. Offer up your pipe into the system and cut them to length at the top. We'll be using these T sections at the top to divert the water into each tower, so keep in mind the amount of pipe that goes inside the T section once you push it on. Now we're going to use two elbows to direct the nutrients into the top of the towers, so using an offcut of 15mm pipe, push it into the T and tighten the T and the elbow together. Once your grow towers are in the correct place, offer up the lid of the reservoir and draw around the bottoms of the grow towers using a hole saw to cut out your holes. I like to fill up my reservoir with water first to test the pump and clear any debris that may have gathered in the process of the build. Now I'm going to show you how to build the lighting bracket. I was looking for one of these online before I built it and couldn't find a reasonably priced one anywhere. You want to cut your 20mm pipe a little bit smaller than the amount that fits inside the T-section. Use a little bit of PVC cement to make sure the pipe stays inside the T-section. I glue these pieces in here to reinforce the T-section as this is where I'm going to drill holes 
so we can screw it and fix it into the wall. You're going to need four of these to make the lighting bracket. Take your drill and drill two holes into each T-section. Try and make them as straight as possible as this is where the screws will go through to fix your lighting bracket to the wall. Take your 20mm pipe and cut six pieces at 30cm. This might vary depending on the width of your system and how close you want the lights to your plants. You want to securely fix these equal distances away from the system. I'm fixing straight into wood here, so if you're fixing into a wall, you'll have to drill a hole and use raw plugs. Use a spirit level and mark a little line so you know that your top brackets are level. Now take your 20mm elbows and the pieces of 20mm pipe that you cut earlier and push them together to make a U section. Then simply push the ends of the U-section into the brackets that are fixed to the wall. Again, yours might look slightly different to this depending on the size of your system and how close you want the lights to your plants. I like to offer up the lights and then take a measurement when they look like they're in the right place. Take the horizontal piece of the U-section and mark out where the lights are going to go. Here we're going to drill some holes in only one side of the pipe so we can thread through the cable ties and attach the lights without being able to see them from the back. You have to make a little hook with the cable ties to pull them through. This is hands down the trickiest part of building the whole system. When attaching your lights, be sure to have an output and an input because if you have two of the same, you won't be able to daisy chain the lights together. Your lights might be slightly different to these, but using the daisy chain lights, they're all quite similar. Now you're ready to attach the lights back onto the lighting bracket. Once you have your lights evenly spaced, cable tie them into place so they don't slide around. Attach your power supply and also cap off any other unused daisy chain links. Both the pump and the lights will be on these plug-in timers which are easy to find anywhere. Plug her in and then you're ready to roll. Planting your seeds for hydroponic growing is slightly different than planting your seeds for growing outdoors. I plant my seeds straight into rock wall cubes and sit them into 2 inch net cups. You can also use cocoa core but you'll have to adjust the pH of your nutrients slightly. If you'd like me to go into more detail about the planting process or anything else for that matter, please let me know in the comments. If you've made it this far and you haven't hit subscribe yet, I'm not quite sure what you're doing, but hit it right now. If this video has been helpful, give us a thumbs up and share it with as many of your friends as possible. I want to see all of you growing your own food, so hit me up on Instagram at What's Growing On UK or TikTok at What's Growing On.